Rare scenes of joy were the theme among families of hostages and prisoners who were freed on day two of the true steal. However, on day three, the Palestinian Red Crescent says the killing of Palestinian farmer who was reported to be targeted by Israel forces in Gaza's Magazi refugee camp could jeopardize the third phase of plans to swap 50 hostages held by the Hamas group for 150 prisoners in Israeli jails over a four-day period. Rare scenes of joy among Israelis and Palestinians early on Sunday as a hostage and prisoner swap went ahead between the two sides after new setbacks that briefly threatened to derail the truce. The Six women and seven minors made up the 13 Israeli hostages freed in a deal brokered by Egypt and Qatar, with Hamas releasing video that showed armed men handing people over to the Red Cross who were helping to transport the hostages home. Four citizens of Thailand were also freed from Gaza in a separate deal Hamas says was brokered by Turkey. In exchange, 39 Palestinian civilians, including 33 minors, were released from Israeli prisons, according to a Palestinian news report, bringing crowds of people to celebrate in the West Bank. But the swap on Saturday was delayed for several hours and cast into doubt when Hamas accused Israel of not keeping up its end of the deal and threatened to withhold the captives' release. Hamas said at the time only 65 of the 340 foreign aid trucks that had entered Gaza had reached the hardest-hit northern areas, which was, quote, less than half of what Israel agreed on. Israeli forces, who released this video said to be of aid trucks in northern Gaza, said distribution of the aid in the enclave was implemented by the United Nations and international organizations. The dispute also involved Israel's release of jailed Palestinians, but mediators from Egypt and Qatar helped salvage the situation, which underscored the fragility of the deal. Qatar's foreign ministry spokesman told CNN, quote, We're hopeful that with the second or third day of this pause, we would be able to hash out a lot of these details that made this day so difficult. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.